Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, our midweek has featured dry weather across the area, but that said, if you do have outdoor plans over the next few hours, just keep an eye on radar. Download our Skywarn 13 weather app. That will give you all the tools you need to keep an eye on any showers and storms. We now have a cold front that's gradually working down from the north, and that is going to bring those chances for some showers and thunderstorms, at least through this evening. Otherwise, with a loss of daytime handy, those will gradually diminish for tonight, giving way to variable clouds and temperature wise will be falling through the 70s eventually into the 60s and by tomorrow morning a lot of us going to wind up into the 50s. Looking at satellite and radar this afternoon, we've really seen the coverage pick up here as this cold front does sweep southward across our neck of the woods. In fact, we have quite a few showers and a couple thunderstorms across our western counties. One cell that's now moving over the Milltown area and also through Amory as well. We have a couple more cells there across far southern St. Croix County, encompassing parts of uh, uh, Pierce County as well and another cell that's just starting to work its way into Chatech. Meanwhile, further east, we have more showers and thunderstorms, uh, one that's just now starting to exit the Lake Holcomb area, and these are gradually tracking to the east and southeast here. Uh, none of these are severe, but there is the off chance that maybe one or two of these become strong to severe, but overall, these look to be your garden variety storms uh, through this evening, and then a couple more cells there across far northern Clark County. Taking a look at our Nicolay Bank sky cam out on Hastings Way here in Eau Claire. We have a mostly to partly sunny sky. Our current temperature at 83 degrees, a west wind at 9 miles per hour. And our dew point not terrible near that 60 degree mark with pressure at 29.73 inches. Obviously to the north it is cooler where we have the, the, the uh, that cloud cover and some showers and storms. It's now at 68 degrees in Ladysmith, 74 in Medford. Meanwhile, into the 80s from the Chippewa Valley to Point South. But if we see any rain, obviously that's going to cool things off as well. Looking at satellite radar on the expanded view, here's our cold front right here. Again, that's going to continue tracking southward for tonight. So any showers and thunderstorms are going to taper off uh, really as we start to see the sunset. I'll give way to quiet weather for tonight, variable clouds, and then heading into tomorrow, expect plenty of sunshine out there. Temperature is going to remain seasonable once again, and it is going to feel very nice while we'll dew points into the 50s. Meanwhile, by tomorrow night, clouds will start to increase as we track the next weather system, and that is going to bring more showers and thunderstorms, especially late Thursday night and into Friday morning. And from there, we'll start to see a lull in the activity, but more so towards the mid and late afternoon hours on Friday as the cold front with the system starts to slide through. That's when we could see some redevelopment. A lot of that will just have to do on uh, with as far as how much sunshine we see develop towards the afternoon hours, but that's certainly possible. We do have that chance of some showers and storms in the forecast. So for tonight, an early shower or storm that will give way to variable clouds. Our low temperature at 57. Otherwise, tomorrow, that high temperature up around 80. Plenty of sunshine out there. By Friday, we do see our high temperature at 82 degrees. Low 80s to start off this weekend. We'll be somewhat breezy. And then we briefly drop into the upper 70s through the start of next week before temperatures become seasonable once again. I'm excited to have some of this middle ground heat. I feel like that's not too bad, right? <laughs> no, we're right where we should be for this time of year. And in some cases where we're in the upper 70s, that's actually running slightly below average. So all in all, not too bad out there and some much needed rain chances as well. Very exciting. Thanks so much, mm -hmm. Derek.